Welcome to Bookster News. I'm your host, Gracie, and this is where we talk about all things bookish. First off, we want to send major congratulations to the Oscar winners this past Sunday. We know it's not super bookish, but Everything Everywhere All at Once won seven of the categories they were nominated for, including Best Picture, Best Director, and three of the acting categories. Michelle Yeoh became the first Asian woman to ever win Best Actress in the whole 95 years since the Oscars began. Michelle Yeoh is an icon, so it's well-deserved, but also the first in the year 2023? Come on, Academy, let's do better. Anyway, another film to do quite well this year was All Quiet on the Western Front. This German film won four Oscars, including Best International Film, Best Cinematography, and Best Production Design. All Quiet on the Western Front is based on a novel of the same name written all the way back in 1929 by Eric Remarque, a German veteran of World War I. Next, Authors are speaking out against Florida book bans. Recently, 20 of Jodi Picoult's books were banned from the Florida public schools due to a sole parent saying, adult romance shouldn't be on the shelves. Keep in mind, Jodi Picoult is popular with young adults. In an op-ed piece, Picoult responded to the claim saying, it's worth noting that I do not write adult romance. The majority of the books that were targeted do not even have a kiss in them. What they do have, however, are issues like racism, abortion rights, gun control, gay rights, and other topics that encourage kids to think for themselves. As a mom herself, Bacol understands not every book is for all ages, and parents totally have a say in what their child reads. However, with that, Bacol also argues there's a colossal problem when a parent deciding that therefore no child should be allowed to read those books. Picoult's book that has recently been banned most frequently is called 19 Minutes. It's a book about a school shooting and bullying, but it wasn't banned for references to violence. Instead, it was banned for a single instance of date rape that was not at all written to be gratuitous or sensational. Picoult has received thousands of emails from bullied kids saying that the novel helped them feel less alone. So by banning 19 Minutes, how is Florida keeping kids safe? The answer is they aren't. Another author to speak out is James Patterson, one of the most prolific authors with hundreds of thousands of fans across the world. Patterson's science fantasy young adult series Maximum Ride was recently banned in Florida for reasons that are still unknown. In a tweet, Patterson asked what possible grounds Florida had for this and called the decision arbitrary and borderline absurd. He then provided a link for his followers to send a complaint to Florida Governor Ron DeSantis if they agreed. Jody Pickle retweeted his message also calling for complaints to the governor. In lighter news, Oprah Winfrey has recently chosen her 100th pick for her book club. On CBS Mornings, along with author Anne Napolitano, Winfrey announced Napolitano's Hello Beautiful as her choice, a book about four sisters going through their lives. Oprah's book club began all the way back in 1996 when Winfrey's producer at the time suggested Winfrey share her book experiences with her viewers in the form of a nationwide book club. Winfrey's first pick was Jacqueline Mitchard's The Deep End of the Ocean, and it went on to sell more than 2 million copies. Since then, Oprah's book club has become, arguably, one of the most influential book clubs in the world. So trust me, when the book fairy blesses a book, it's like winning the lottery for these authors. With Napolitano's Hello Beautiful, listen directly to Winfrey's reasoning for choosing the book. So I read it last uh, fall, and I, when I put it down, I just longed for somebody to talk to about yes. it. And there was no one else who'd read it. Yeah, no one had read it. No one had read it. <laughs> Anne Napolitano has done such an incredible job of developing these characters yes. that in the end, I will tell you, I thought about these characters for days. Yes. As an avid book reader myself, I'm always tempted by glowing book reviews, so I just might have to check this one out. And with that, what do you think about today's episode? We'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below. As always, I'm your host, Gracie, and this is Bookster News. If you want to hear more from us, be sure and check out our website, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>